I'm showing you how to construct angle 97 and the half degree. So in angle 97 and the half degree, one of the first thing you need to know is um, how do I achieve that angle? So what are the angles I'm going to be adding together to get 97 and the half? So that's the first thing you need to decide. So for 97 and the half degree, you can get it when you construct angle 90 degrees plus 7 and the half degree. So the combination of these two angles uh, will give you the construction of angle 97 and the half. So um, like I said, you have to have basic knowledge about construct angle 90, angle 16, angle 30, if you have to do any other angle apart from those um, common angles. So you have to know the basic. So the first thing I'm going to do, so let's get started. So um, if, if you are looking at uh, the sample I showed earlier, you see that they are very faint, but I'll make sure that all the lines I'm going to be using in this particular video are very bold. Exactly. So but when, once you are drawing yours, make sure all of the construction lines are very faint. So only the lines showing angle 97 are the half that should be made bold. So now I've drawn my straight line. So I'm going to pick a center. So let me pick this point. And from that center, I'm going to draw a semicircle on that line. So um, just for proper understanding, let me call the center of, of this semicircle. Let me call it point O. And let me call where this semicircle is touching my straight line. So let me call this point A. And let me call this point B. So the first thing I'm going to do is to construct angle 90. So I bring in my compass and at any convenient length, I'll place it on point B. And then I'll draw an arc. I'll come back to point A. I'll also draw an arc. So from the point of intersection, so you have to be careful when you're picking your point of intersection. I'll draw a line to point O. So it's going to be a straight line. So don't forget we are constructing. So the use of protractor is not um, is not necessary at all. So now we already have our angle 90. So the next thing we have to do is for us to get angle 7 and the half degree. And how do we go about that? Now this is 90. So that means our 7 and the half will fall at the left side of of this that's at this second quadrant so i'll bring back my compass that i used in drawing my semicircle earlier now with the same length i've not adjusted it so i'll place it at point a and then i'll draw an arc on that semicircle exactly so now we're at this point of intersection where this arc is touching the semicircle at this point so that means we are having i'm, I'm not going to be drawing it anyway so let me just call it point c let me let me call it point c so that means where this is, arc is touching the semicircle to point A is angle 60 degrees. And from here to this vertical line is 30 degrees. So what we are going to do is we are going to divide this angle that is 30 degrees. We are going to divide it. We are going to divide it twice. So if you divide it, uh, that's 30 degrees divided by 2, you are going to give us um, 15 degrees. If I should divide it again, it's going to give me 7 and a half degrees. So that's how we are going to get our 7 and a half that will add to the 90 to make 97 and a half. I hope that is clear. So, so what I'm going to do now, we have already uh, drawn an arc. We've gotten our, this is 60, this is 30. I don't need to draw the line. So what I'll just do is, so let me also note where this uh, vertical line is touching the semicircle here. So I'll bring back my compass at any convenient length. So I'll place it here. So let me call this uh, point D for proper understanding. So let me place it on point D. That's point D is where this line this perpendicular line is touching this semicircle. So I'll draw an arc. So with the same length, I'll go to point C. I'll draw an arc. So from their point of intersection, so you have to be careful when you are picking the point of intersection, so which is the center of that intersection itself, especially when this point of intersection is, is wide. So I'll draw a line to point O. So like I said, all this, all this line as at the time of this, at this level that we are in this construction, they are going to be a um, uh, faint line, exactly. But for the purpose of this video, I'm making this bold so that you can see them. So with what we've done now, we already have this angle to be 15 degrees, exactly. So this angle that is 15 degrees, we are going to divide it again. And dividing it into two equal parts, that means we are going to bisect this angle. It's going to give us 70 and 7 and a half, 7 and a half. So now let's note... We have this line that we just drawn is touching the semicircle, it's touching it at this point. So let me call that place point E. Point E. So I'll bring back my 
compass again at any convenient length since the angle is very small let's let make sure that um, the length is a little bit long so i'm going to bisect this let me call this angle e o b e o d exactly so what i'll do is i'll place my compass on um, point d i'll draw an arc with the same length i'll come to point e and then i'll draw another arc so now let's go ahead and add in, and locate the the, um, the point of intersection which is one at the center so it is some it is somewhere here this is it exactly so from there now i can go ahead and draw a line from that point to point o so with this now we've been able to get um So with this now, we've been able to get our 97 and the half degree. So let me use the compass so that I can just show you. So from this last line that we've just drawn, so this here is our 97 and the half degree. And this is how you go about in constructing angle 97 and the half. Now you can bring in your, con um, your protractor to confirm I hope you'll be able to see this. So once you place your uh, your protractor, so if you look at it now, we are having angle 97 and a half. So this is 90, this is 95, 96, 97, and you can see that this line is just between 97 and 98. So that's to let us know that we are actually correct. And if you follow every other thing, all, all the explanation I've done in this video, you are going to also achieve the same result. And uh, one thing you have to also take note of is to make sure that when you are um, when you are uh, drawing the arc when you are bisecting make sure um, the length that you are using is the same if you are to bisect between the same angles like i explained and when you are picking your center you are picking i mean your point of intersection you pick you make sure you look at it closely and pick the right uh, center so if you can follow all of this you are going to achieve the same result so that is this um on this video if you also want to know how to draw other i mean how to construct rather other angles like this um just check the uh, the playlist on technical drawing. I have other angles, 33 and the half, 52 and the half, 165, 78, 3 quarter, 37 and the half, and the likes. So you'll find them there. So thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.